Grace Dunn, I'm a sophomore at Westside High School. You're the bomb! I'd like to issue um, a trigger warning for um, addiction. So, yeah. This is a letter from your five-year-old. Five. Dear Daddy, happy birthday thing. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. You're so strong. I think you could lift our whole house if you tried. And you play Barbies with me, and you have those really cool coins that you call your chips. Those come from your mystery meetings. And you take me swimming every Friday and always check the deep end to make sure there are no sharks coming to get me. I want to be just like you. 10. Dear Dad, happy 13th birthday? I really don't get that because you turned 37 last month, but Mom told me to go with it, so I guess I will. You got another chip today, and I think the two are related, but really, I'm not sure. And truly, I'm not sure of anything, and why is my sister still gone? You said she'd only be away for a month, and why does Mom call you the glue? And why do you leave every night when you think I'm asleep? I am not asleep. Anyway, I don't know how your chips and your mystery meetings are correlated or why they're called chips at all because they're metal and they don't taste good. I learned correlated last week, Dad. That's a fun word. Happy birthday. Anyway, I'm not going to drink and I... Wait, wait. Oh, I know what I was talking about. Your chips and your mystery meetings. Um, I don't know how they're correlated, but I know that they make you happy, so I am too, and I'm never gonna drink because neither do you, dear dad. I still wanna be just like you, 15. Dear dad, happy birthday. Uh, I'm writing to you from my second consecutive meeting in one day. Lauren, Alyssa, and Charlie all wanna be my sponsor, and I don't really know if I want one. If I cared about my 12 steps, I would invest in a Fitbit. Anyway, happy 18th birthday. I'm a lot like you. 16. Relapse. It shocks me as if I am not the one, eyes closed, lips pressed to the cold brim, like taking it in like a long lost love that was probably meant to stay lost. I am sitting in bed and all I can think about is the last time this happened. The last time he gave me one more pearly white sandy matte pill with the indents on it that makes me tired and angry and dizzy and dissolves in my mouth if I cannot wash it down quickly enough. He gave it to me in an attempt to make me overdose. Dear girls, if they want to drown you, make sure it is in love, not booze. Make sure they are not instead suffocating you with flat, with pearly colors wrapped in a polymer ba barrier that make you tired and angry and dizzy, that you cannot push down the handfuls of your throat quickly enough to make them happy. Dear girls, if they want to make you overdose so that they can take care of you, run. And if you are already unable to move your legs due to the poison you have placed on your tongue and wash down your body with flammable water, try to remove yourself from your body. Call your sponsor. Invest in that Fitbit 16. Dear Dad, happy 21st birthday. I'm sorry I've had the numbers wrong this whole time. I'm sorry I get my words jumbled up. I'm sorry I can't remember. I will try harder. You deserve more credit and this is hard. I'm sorry I'm disappointing you and you are unaware of it. I think I'll call Lauren tomorrow. Maybe Alyssa or Charlie. Maybe not tomorrow.